Hello and welcome to Time Series Forecasting. In this video, I'm gonna extend the discussion of a trend method that I discussed in my previous video, in which we saw that uh, we can incorporate trend in a time series by introducing a trend equation in our component uh, form. In addition to introducing a trend in uh, our forecasting, we can also introduce dampening of uh, that trend. The previous method that we saw it shows that uh, the trend is constant that is if uh, the trend is increasing it will keep on increasing in the future as well for example if we have a time series like this and uh, if we base our forecast uh, on the previous method it will say that uh, the trend will keep on increasing uh, in the same uh, direction indefinitely so there may be a problem of over forecasting especially if we want to forecast uh, for an observation which is way in the future like this observation and we'll probably forecast that it's going to be going in this uh, time direction so there may be a problem of uh, over forecasting uh, in this case so sometimes it makes more sense if we can uh, dampen this uh, forecast and say that yes the trend is going to be keep increasing in the same direction but just going to keep uh, dampening as we move in time that is it will not uh, be as aggressive as it was showing recently that is for the long time horizon the trend will be a little bit uh, smaller in slope as compared with the trend that we are observing uh, for our near forecasts so to do that what we can do is uh, based on our previous uh, three equations we can introduce another parameter phi and now all of our three equations will contain this uh, phi parameter this phi parameter it will control the dampening that we want to introduce uh, in our uh, trend typically we restrict the value of phi between 0 0.8 and uh, 0 0.98 note here if uh, phi is exactly equal to 1 this whole term in parentheses will vanish and uh, we'll be left out with the whole the linear trend method. So if we plug in phi equals one, in these three equations, we will be left with the whole the linear trend uh, method. Okay, let's go to R and uh, work with an example. So here's an example and uh, we are going to use the same example as I used in my previous uh, video. And uh, I'm gonna introduce uh, two types of uh, equations here. I'm gonna use a hold function and my first argument will be our data and our forecast horizon is 15 time periods in the future and since this is air passenger data which is measured annually so this is our forecast for the next 15 years so this will be our regular forecast and then we can also introduce a damped method here by turning on this switch damped equals true and then we can introduce phi equals 0 0.9 to tell uh, that the value of phi that I described earlier it is uh, 0 0.9 this is how much we want to damp our trend so looking at the graph here this is our original data set and if we base our forecasts on uh, the trend uh, that we saw historically we'll forecast that the trend will go indefinitely in the same direction so this may not be true over the next 15 years we we'll may see a trend less than uh, this so what that phi is doing here in this equation is it's dampening uh, this uh, trend and our forecast is uh, that the trend will go in the positive direction but not as much as uh, what the holds method was telling us so this is also another useful way of forecasting especially with the time series for longer forecast horizon as was the case here we were trying to forecast for the next 15 years so we probably need to introduce a dampening parameter and here we introduce the value of phi which determines how much damp we want to introduce in this trend and we set the value equals 0.9 in this case but you can select any value between 0.8 and 0.98 and if the value is exactly equal to 1, we'll be using the whole selenia trend method without any dampening and we'll be assuming that the trend will keep on going indefinitely in the same direction. So these were the two methods to include trend in the series. So we can either use a whole selenia trend method or we can use damped trend method in which we'll say that trend will be damped in the long run. 
So in the next video, I'll talk about uh, how to incorporate seasonality in exponential smoothing. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.